Hello everyone, we are the group 2 of grade 7 Canisius. Today, we are going to discuss to you and help you understand how to solve linear equations using the Resca formula. Let's start! Here are this exit product's objectives. To be able to create word problems about COVID-19 involving linear equations in one variable and to be able to solve the created word problem using RESCA. Before we start, let us first know what is a linear equation. It is an equation in which there is no exponent on any of the variables, automatically making it a linear equation, also known as a first-degree equation. First of all, what is RESCA? RESCA stands for Representation, Equation, Solution, Checking, and Answer. It is a formula that can be used in math to organize the work of a problem solution. Here's a sample problem. In Cagayan de Oro City, the number of COVID recoveries is 3,000, more than 13 times the number of deaths. Find the number of cases for deaths and recoveries if the total number of cases is 227,168. With this, we have to determine first the number of deaths to get the total number of recoveries. To represent this, let x be the number of deaths and 13x plus 3000 be the number of recoveries. To form this into a linear equation, we have the sum of x and 13x plus 3000 equals 227,168. To solve this, first, we must find the number of death cases by finding the value of x from the equation of the sum of x and 13x plus 3000 that is equal to 227,168. Remember to simplify the like terms in the equation. Let's combine x and 13x, which now gives us 14x. Then copy the rest of the equation. Our goal now is to isolate the term 14x. To do this, let's apply the addition property of equality by simply adding the additive inverse of positive 3000, which is negative 3000 to both sides. We have now isolated the term 14x. 3000 less than 227,168 is 224,168. Next step is to isolate the variable x from 14 by multiplying the reciprocal of 14, which is 1 over 14. We should always remember that in MPE, that whatever we multiply to one side of the equation, we multiply the same to the other side. Then, to simplify this, the equation will become 14x divided by 14 is equal to 224,168 divided by 14. Now, we can isolate the variable x by eliminating the number 14. We then divide 224,168 to 14 to get the total number of death cases, which is 16,012. To determine the number of recoveries from the equation 13x added to 3000, we have to substitute our answer to the variable x. The product of 16,012 and 13 is equal to 208,156, then copy the rest of the equation. Then, the sum of 208,156 and 3,000 gives us the total number of recoveries from COVID-19, which is 211,156. To find out if the value of x is correct, we can do the checking by substituting the value 16,012 from the variable x. Then, we have to get the product of 13 and 16,012, which is 28,156, 
then copy the rest of the equation. The sum of 16,012, 208,156, and 3,000 is 227,168, which is now equal to the value of the right side of the equation. Therefore, we can say that the value of x is correct. In conclusion, there are a total of 16,012 death cases and 211,156 recoveries from COVID-19. Hope you learned something today. Bye! Thank you for watching.